It's July. Um, July 1st, 2014, and standing next to me is Everett Gibson from the Johnson Space Centre. Everett, you've been involved in the moon since the Apollo days. Tell yeah. us about it. Yes, I was lucky enough to complete my PhD in 1969 and had my first day of work on the splashdown day of Apollo 11 at the Johnson Space Center. At that time, it was called the Manned Spacecraft Center. We got the return samples back and we were able to look at them in the Lunar Receiving Laboratory. And we preserved them. And today, we're getting exciting results 45 years after the samples were brought back. And um, why should we care about whether the moon is wet or dry, for example? Well, we would really like to know the origin of the moon and hopefully from that get information about the origin of the Earth. And so if we can find out the molten material from which the Earth and the moon were formed and the degree of water that was present at that time, it'll, it'll give you indications, indications of what were the mineral phases that might have been there at the time of this crystallization of this melt. So it's important for the history of each of the solar system bodies to know the water content. Did you think the moon was going to be as wet as we perhaps now think it is back in the Apollo era? Not in the Apollo era. We thought it was bone dry. Everett, thanks for taking the time. No problem.